Hello everybody, this is Karabo Mokhane, Idols winner 2015, in fact season 11, and I'm here today to surprise the top two, um, obviously the Idols winner and the run-up, and uh, yeah man, it's good to be back here, I was here four years ago, jeez, a very very long time, and yeah man, we're talking all things Idols, all things music, and yeah man, let's see what they've got. Yes. Mm, surprise, surprise. Well, surprise. Yes. <laughs> we thought, I know we thought we thought it'd be nice to surprise you, you know? Nice. So, how are you? You good? I'm good. I'm good, good, man. Now I can see that. But you guys did some phenomenal job out there, man. It's absolutely amazing to watch. So, Snazzy, tell me, when you auditioned, um, did you think you would make it this far um but like what was going through your mind like what were you feeling dude honestly when i went for the auditions i didn't think i was gonna make it this far bro i didn't think i had the idol vibe idol personality appearance like for me idols had a certain vibe that they were looking for mm. and jay kandalami i knew it didn't fit the category so i didn't honestly think or imagine myself this final competition so now, now that you are where you are, right, and, and now tracking back to now actually getting the golden ticket and obviously celebrating going back home and telling everybody, I think a lot of people don't know that you, you, you were actually a backing vocalist before you, you joined Idols. So f the transition from being a backing vocalist and now actually moving into a space where now you are in the forefront and you're leading, how did you manage to move yourself from the back to the front? Honestly, I... I can't lie to you, Ngiti, I've 100% shifted. <laughs> yeah. Because now I'm not used to being in the forefront. Mm. And I still need to adjust to certain stuff that I need to do in a certain way that I wasn't used to doing them in. So, hey, Ksazo my bro. But I'm willing to. To learn. Yeah, really, really. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, you 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 are doing exceptionally well. You did you did very well in the competition. I mean, I remember theater week. In fact, I want to ask you this: when <laughs> when you were theater week and and you guys were were sort of paired together, the way that you were paired, and you guys had to compete against the other groups. In that moment, because obviously, if another person makes a mistake, there's a possibility you can go home. Yeah. You know, so if one person messes up, it could also mess up opportunities for you. But how did you keep yourself calm in that moment to say i need to do what i need to do and i need to go ahead and kill it dude firstly at theater week i had laryngitis mm. um i had flu and then i took a lot of benelin so young telly inflammation and pinjin one two oh guys i should be so being with girls i had to be the bigger person in everything mm. like keeping calm in order for me to be calm was what in kumbu and my voice so if given a chance mel and shaili is big bro honestly i don't know i don't know how it happened but it happened yeah it's quite interesting actually watching um and and seeing how everything sort of unfolds and I know that I think in your group somebody went home or did you guys all make it? Yeah, we all made it you all made it through, ne? Um so not now making it through from there. Now obviously you go into single rounds. I mean I know that you get a you get a day or two to prepare for the single rounds. When you got the song that you got, I don't know, is it is it a song that you've sung before? I don't even know who Shaka Khan was, bro. Really? Honestly. I didn't even know who Shaka Khan was. You know when you grow up around, but you don't know who sings it. Mm. It was that kind of vibe. Because I had had the song before, but I didn't know who sings the song. Mm. And it's one of those vibes, you know, Lezi Ngoma Lezi Okula, Okula no Mayin, Melody writes, but some lyrics are gone. It was that vibe. So I didn't know the song. To me, it was a new song. 
one, two, I couldn't rehearse a lot because my voice was going. Yeah. guys, bro. But you know, I, I was watching and you killed it. Voice or no voice. Um, I think for me, that's where I became a fan. Honestly, uh, no, honestly, 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 I think for me, you, you, you killed that song. And also for me, you gave it a different imp- interpretation because, you know, we know the Shaka Khan sings like way up there, you know, and you brought that song down here on earth, you know, and you reminded us that, you know, it's not about always, you know, being up there, you know, you can also sing down here and it still makes sense, you know. Um, can I ask you, who are your musical influences before I get into the next question? Mm. Leandra Johnson, no okay. Brendam Dam. Leandra Johnson. <laughs> Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell. Mm, yeah, the three. The three, no? Because obviously they. Yeah, the three yeah, I yeah, like, like, my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, making it into the top 16, how was that for you? How was that for you? I'm sure, I'm sure obviously, there was a lot of things going through your mind, but when they announced and said you have made it into top 16, what was going through your mind? Dude. One gang in a frustrate because now you're about theatre wiki, bro. Everyone can sing, and now Lombo na good in Kalinga low. Yabolo, if if she makes it through, hangs on again a showcase. And then a boy, like, guys, I didn't make it. What, dude? A lot of things was going on in my mind, firstly, and secondly, I was expecting anything, bro. It's it's a competition after all. Even though making it through was gonna be intangible fun, but I was expecting whatever. And when they told me that I made it through, I couldn't help myself. Bro, I cried because I was like, okay, this is the beginning of new things. Yes. All the things that I've been learning in Jeleni, now I need to put them into practice. So I had to get the bums on me, bro, and me backpack and do the things. <laughs> <laughs> so now you've made it into top 16, and it is the first week. Of performances and obviously you need to pick songs um first week did you guys pick your own songs or were songs picked for you guys for top 16 Top 16. i think songs were picked for us mm. yeah songs were picked for us um yeah songs were picked for us we were separated into two groups oh yeah, oh, yeah i remember group yeah. a and group b and then i was in group b songs were picked for us i remember and how did that go for you guys i'm not gonna lie to you i've had one of the best songs to sing in this show mm. at first they sounded awkward and weird for me but the minute i got to master the melody and the lyrics i i was able to improvise around the song so i've never had a song choice challenge honestly so you enjoyed every single song that you did on the show that's amazing that's amazing but also i think for me you also look like you're enjoying yourself you know because the moment you look like you're enjoying yourself the people that are looking at you also begin to enjoy themselves Man, yeah i had a lot of fun on idols guys <laughs> yay <laughs> i had a lot of fun you know that when when you know that you have the rhythm yes. but it kind of like you're like i can't dance but on idols guys i saw another side of me you can actually dance it had to, it had to come out it had to come Hi. Out. so it was it was beautiful bro i had, I had a wonderful time with that's amazing that's amazing that that's amazing and obviously now the following step will be top 10 and uh, i mean the previous years if you remember you do always balance out you know five girls five boys you know um and then this year turn of events um eight girls two guys like like so when 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 they mentioned this in your mind in one sentence like in fact one give me one word what was going through your mind one word when you saw that happen you were like like what is the word that could possibly come into your mind Dude, it was mean, bro. That's Jesus. Yeah, may God me help me. I literally said that. Jesus, yeah, may God me help me. That's what I said. So I'm like, like you were like shocked, eh? Whoa. I mean, I mean, obviously the rest of South Africa was very shocked, and I mean, obviously now seeing the fact that there are only two guys and the eight mm-hmm. girls, but I, I think also it goes to show at the amount of talent that the girls had. I mean, the the, the, the girls were phenomenal. The season girls were fire, bro. Everyone had something different to give. To give yeah. Everyone had the, the, their own signature. G. Texture, your voice. No one was singing like Omunye in this season. And I guess that's what, that's what makes it so special yeah. as well. Um, and then working with the, the teams on Idols, the vocal coaches, and, and obviously rehearsing during the week, and maintaining and being able to do that throughout the week. 
was a strainers for you? Did you get to a point where you felt like it's getting too much for you? You can't handle it anymore? Or did you have a schedule that you drew up for yourself that you knew that you had to keep to? Um, honestly, I, I, I have never says hosh. So in my, I've been singing whole, the, my whole life, and I had to have a certain technique that I use. Mm. You're good to see, I'm not gonna over rehearse in order for my voice not to go because yeah, I'm sailor, bro. I'm not gonna over rehearse with Utia. Since she's been so helpful, bro, she knew, like she understood my voice more than I did. So she, I wouldn't rehearse. It's cut a seed. Mm. When I'm on my own, would have my headset on going through my lyrics. If I master my lyrics. Melody, bro, Kulula. Melody can easily manipulate it. So I made sure that in my spare time, I get to master my lyrics. For Uguzenga Stenny voice. So it wasn't like, bro, it wasn't that hectic. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't as hectic. And I learned new things about me. Like, being as I can't sing falsetto. And guess what? I can sing you can, falsetto. You can. Dude. I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure a lot of people that have listened to you sing before were probably as surprised as you are to yeah. hear you sing in falsetto. Because I had this, kind of, there's this quail up, bro. I'll put my lamp in and I'm in school of falsetto. Mm. It's gone. So those are the things I got to learn along the way. And I realized, Uzi, all along I thought I couldn't sing falsetto because I was training my voice. I was singing wrong, actually. So it wasn't, it wasn't so that you couldn't. It wasn't that, that I couldn't. Not it wasn't that yeah, I was I wasn't. All right. I think for me, the questions I'm going to ask you right now, top seven, showstopper, big things. Um, I'll be honest, you were my favorite. They're like... By far the best performance. Um, I'm sure that South Africa will agree with you on this one. Uh, you, you were amazing, amazing. How did it feel for you performing on that stage and getting all of these things around you, surrounding you, and lights are beaming and everything is just. And how do you also keep concentration in the moment? Dude, firstly, I was like doubting my song because everyone was singing South African hits. Yeah. Like those local songs, my figure solo, like music. Everyone was vibing, my vibe as South Africa. Well, and then here I am. I was like, yes. And for it to come out, Ngalengela, that it did, yo, bro. Like, I couldn't believe it now. Because I was, I was expecting Oguti, okay, at least let it be good. No yeah. but let oh, it be yeah. good at least. Yes. Bro, and then Yaba more than I thought it was gonna be. Like I was so excited and I'm not gonna lie to you, I searched the moment. Those um the stage set up the vibe, choreography, the dancers on stage, it was so amazing. It was beautiful. It was, to you, bro, really beautiful it was amazing. To but I, I think, like I'm saying, I think seeing you having fun allowed the people who were watching to also have fun. I think that's something, something that you've mastered is you're able to capture the crowd. And it's not an easy thing to do, you know. When you get on stage, there are a lot of people that can get on stage and sing, and it sounds beautiful, but still fail to capture the emotions of the crowd. And you did that with ease. It was almost like you just walked on stage and people just started screaming for no apparent reason. <laughs> but, but, but I told myself, Wuti, it's something that I'll carry on using Pumaguma Idols. If... If the song Alin Kaze mean, mm. I can't expect to with the the people that I'm gonna be delivering to Bazo yeah. Kaze. So it had to first work Kimina. I had to first give me spugin, give school and minute in a ten. If Ngas Kazi, I'll have to try again. For me good and on Sunday when I perform, whoever that I'm gonna be performing to. So I think you know, we got push our cool keep telling, I keep telling Alright. Um then we we get to I guess the, the the most probably the most intriguing and the most fun part of idols. Um obviously making it into the top three and you know obviously the trip to the United States of America. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, New York, New York, New York. Girl. How look, before I ask this, have you been overseas before? Yeah. So this but was but eight. but this is like on like on another level. And how was the experience for you, man? Dude, it was amazing. Yeah, in New York, it's every musician's dream to go there. Yes, yes. 
song and into it one day i'm gonna go to new york one day uh i'll be in new york you know having to be there hey for me bro it was a bonus and the fact that i was there it was just for leisure just to enjoy it what are the memorable moments um, that you took from being there? Being in the yellow cab. That was my highlight. <laughs> Dude, you can't so be in New York with that. Yeah, bo! I was like, <laughs> I need to have the experience, the yellow cab. Uh, obviously, pictures in Times Square. Mm-hmm. Um, the food. Amazing. Th- not really amazing. Epic. Mm. Okay, you remember? Yeah, we ate some burger, bro. I was like, okay, nah. So, food, not that food looks amazing, but doesn't taste amazing. But it comes in bulk. Yeah, go like... You know those Instagram food yes. pictures? Coolit. But it doesn't taste as good. But I guess also because... No, no, it's the environment. Yes, and plus, I'm going to put South Africa as a kind of thing. But I'm not No, I'll be honest. The food in South Africa is amazing. Um, I, I don't think it can be compared to any other country. But I can was, agree with you on that. It was amazing. Mm, what else? Let's do it. I had never been in a train before. So that was your first time being in a train? So it was my first time being in a train. I was in New York. Viva, baby girl. Things. I think I think one thing that's amazing about America is their transport system is yeah, okay, Kulula, like you can move from one place to another. as a form of transportation. Gangag. Like Kutina is Timela is a lavant of save your Because he has a moon of fifteen run in Yanga Yonki. But now Kubona is Timela it's like a normal thing. And I didn't expect that. So you you probably enjoyed that. Yeah, I really did. Great. That's great. Did you did you go shopping? Did you buy things? Um, what is the one thing? What is the one item that you got that you probably will never be able to give to anybody else? Dude, can I tell you the truth? Yes. I didn't buy anything. You didn't buy anything. Why didn't you buy anything? Because okay, I bought a jacket, one jacket, one jacket yeah. because I don't know, bro. This is the thing about me. Mm. I plan for shopping. Okay. So if if you got kanje and you born in the store. So so you went in and you looked but you couldn't find anything. I nice. couldn't find anything nice. Not even a dress, nah. Dude, not even a dress. I bought the jacket because we were banda where we were, and I was like, okay, lady, dress is not warm enough. I need to get something to wear a pair. But overall, it was a great experience. Overall, it was a great experience, and. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Would you go back? Definitely. Definitely. Okay, so this time around, you go back for work? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> um, so I want to, I want you to take me through the process of, um, obviously now you've got your own single um, and, and the process, I, I believe you are part of the writing of the single. Are you moving? the gospel side of things or are you going to be joining us I didn't be in afro where are you going <laughs> dude i'm going to go because now people saying fagile we gospel yeah well of which i don't mind i'm a church girl after yes. all and honestly i'm very proud of myself i need to see like jesus flag go my idols no 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 i'm sure three or four two two ne? it was two songs that you started the song was the third one. So, I mean, you sang a lot of gospel songs. So, I guess a lot of people Jesus. sort of felt like I was writing up. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't want this is yeah. what I'm going to do. People should just expect music, bro. Killer, killer music. Come where? Come where? On my piano. <laughs> but, I mean, look, you, you did sing, you did dance. So, yeah. so, 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 obviously, now. Nah, now, but they can, yeah, but they can, they can expect it. They can expect it. It was for the show. I saw it. Nah, fam. Not even. Nah, it was for the show. Okay. I put it on the island. Ulishe. Ulishe, it's easy. Yeah. But you can take that forward. Miss Aikin King, Aikin King. So now that the single is out and people obviously buy one or two it's a gospel song and um, going forward, what. What is it that people can expect from Usnezi? 
Uh, consistency. Okay. Relevance. Mm-hmm. When when I'm saying relevance, I mean you should seem every day. Okay. But relevance, I mean, Usne will always be Usne, bro. No matter what happens, Usne won't lose herself. Excuse me. And people should expect music, bro. Proper stuff. Proper stuff. Music that makes sense. I believe, Mina, in singing my own stuff. Yeah. If it happens that may it be from your heart okay. so yeah people should expect music bro beautiful beautiful, beautiful music okay. give me five artists uh, three from this country to two from overseas that you collaborate with ah, 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 um. three from here two from overseas yeah Opi. okay you want to say Abu Brenda. Oh, Brenda Tam, okay. P. Yes. Mm. Yo. Mm. Inzi male. Kaya. Kaya Mtetwa. Mm. Yo. <laughs> Has Inzi male. Okay, what's English will English only two? Okay, let's just America then. Yeah, Andra. Lee Andra. Jasmine okay, Sullivan. Jasmine Sullivan, yes. Mm. Mubalo ye to alang mshia. Karab. Oh, no, so Yeah, so no, we'll do it. So these are the people that you would ideally want to work with. Yeah. Mina, Mina, I believe if you speak something into being, it should happen. Yeah. So now that you've said it, it means that we need to do something, right? Hallelujah. You heard it from her, guys? That's what we're going to be yeah, doing. We're going to be working together. <laughs> a song is definitely coming. You guys should expect that. Snizzy, South Africa loves you. We love you. On Phenomenal TV loves you as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for sitting down with us and just allowing us into your space. We really appreciate it. And yeah, man, it's good to see you. Uh, of course it is. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Phenomenal TV. That's what's up.